Hey guys, welcome back. Tony back here with you for another video. So tonight I got to see the new Candyman and wanted to get my thoughts and reviews on it. So um, as always, thank you guys for taking time to stop by and watch this video. Very much appreciate it. You guys rock. Hope you guys are having a great weekend so far, having fun, everyone's safe, and having a good time. So on to business. Candyman 2021 finally came out after getting delayed three or four different times, I believe, from the COVID. Finally arrived this weekend. I've never like really been the biggest, biggest Candyman fan. I, only, I just recently rewatched the original one before going to see this one because I've only seen the original one like one time and that was two very very long time ago so i kind of like wanted to rewatch the first one you know because it's been so long and then since the new one's a sequel to that one so, uh, yeah jumping into the new 2021 candy man it is i i thought it was okay i thought it could have been a lot better you know it's if you're a gore hound, you know, expecting a whole bunch of, like, blood, guts, and gore, there is blood, but it's probably not nowhere near as what Halloween Kills is going to be. But, I mean, like, there's... It's, it's got its moments, Candyman does, but nothing over-the-top extreme. Not even nothing like the uh, original Candyman was, because the original Candyman was kind of um, on the gory side, too. But uh, the new one, you know, it focuses on Anthony McCoy, which he was the baby in the original Candyman that got kidnapped in the Hell and Isle, you know, saved him when she died at the end of the first one. And, you know, he becomes getting obsessed with Candyman and all this stuff. And then, you know, I'm kind of like, I kind of like had a feeling I knew what was going to happen with the main character and the whole Candyman thing. And I, I was pretty much right on it. I don't want to give uh, any spoilers away just in case if you guys are wanting to go see it in the theaters. I'll do like a spoiler one later on. But since it's still new and just got released, I'm going to leave out some of the main stuff. And, uh, but... What kind of disappointed me a little bit was Tony Todd, his appearance. I always expected him to be the one that was going to be coming back. And, you know, but the Candyman that we see throughout the movie is someone else. Tony Todd doesn't appear until the end. And I hope I just didn't really give, I shouldn't really said that. But yeah, Tony Todd comes in at the very end. And um, I was just disappointed because I was really hoping to see him because, like, to me, Tony Todd's always going to be the Candyman. Like, Robert England's always going to be Freddy Krueger. And I was really expecting him to get more screen time. But, I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully they make a sequel, which they definitely did leave it open for. They can do another one. Hopefully we will see Tony Todd, like, reprise the whole role for the whole movie. I would have to give the new Candyman, if I were going to give it out of 10, I would probably give it 5 out of 10. I thought it was okay. I was expecting a lot better. But I mean, you know, I'll always rewatch it again when it comes out on video. But it just it just could have been a lot better to me. It was okay. It was for what it was, it was okay. But for me, the original Candyman is still gonna be the best, you know, just like the original Halloween, original Nightmare on Elm Street, the original Scream. But you know, fans are kind of bashing the film. You know, again, it's you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it either way. I mean, that's that's how movies go, but um I had to give it a 5 out of 10. I, Me, personally, I thought it was okay, but I expected better. But, you know, that's just my opinion. You, know, you guys might like it and all that. So I just wanted to do this quick video just to give you guys you know, my review on it and talk about it a little bit. And um, if you guys go see it, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy the movie and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And um, have a good one. As always, thank you guys so much for taking time to stop by and watch. Very much appreciate it. You guys all rock. Thank you so much. Until the next time, stay safe, stay metal.